Okay, now we're here at another church to go and speak. And look at the food. It's my life living with HIV. All right, y'all. I'm here on 166 trying to get on 75 North to go to my NA meeting. And guess what happened? Can't even get on the highway because there's cop cars. There's one right there, and then there's one in front of this truck in front of me. They got it blocked off. We can't even get on 75 C right there, 75 North, 75 South, and even to continue on 166. We can't even go past that. So I'm gonna be really late for the one the NA meeting. Hopefully I'll be able to make it. But I but right now we at a standstill. Let me show you the let me show you the backup track. Then the backup track right now. All backed up. We can't go nowhere. Truck on my other side. Cause I was sure gonna back up at first until that bus came and all them other cars came. We can't go nowhere. We stuck. Oh well. It's hauling some cargo, y'all. People that's in our position have had to comment on the discourse sometimes that's what's going on in America. Yes. We see the Trayvon Martin. We yeah. see the George Floyd. We see what happened in, Mil in, in Wisconsin. And now all of a sudden, you and I, we have to comment on that. Yeah. Where when you played and I played, politics, religion, orientation, yeah. we talked about that, might be maybe mention that in the locker room yeah. without the media or without the purview of the, uh, uh, the public hearing about it. Yeah. How do you navigate, knowing that you came from Alabama, mm -hmm. knowing that what goes on in America, that sometimes it's racism, sometimes it's racist, yeah. how do you navigate, navigate your conversation that you disseminate to the public? That's a really good question because I'm asked that sometime and with my boys. The first thing is, it's exhausting being black. Yes. We're trying to live our lives, be successful. Then Trayvon Martin happened. Mm -hmm. We got to talk about it. Unfortunately, that was a really awful situation. Then we get back in our routine. Then George Floyd happened. Mm -hmm. We got to talk about it. Correct. You know, you know, I was talking with Sam Jackson one time. He like, he's like, yeah, I'm trying to make a movie. They asked me like, do you like, nobody got nominated for an Oscar. So as a black person, something always coming up. Mm -hmm. For me personally is I said, I have to like take a step back. Mm -hmm. Because the one thing you can't do is yell and scream. Correct. Because once you yell and scream, they're like, turn, turn it off, turn it off. And I say, guys, let's have a serious conversation. But I need you to be, I need you. My girl, Judge Judy, I'm a big Judge Judy fan. She always says, you listen, but you're not hearing me. Right. I said, I need you to hear me. Don't listen to me, hear me. Those are two different things. Listen to understand. Yes. And I'm not, hey, and, I, and I'm not mad at you, but I need you to understand this is happening. Mm -hmm. And it's just exhausting being black because every time you're trying to do your thing or just live your life, something racist or racial happens. Right. I try to do this one thing. I try to like, don't ever speak when you're mad. Don't yell and scream. Cause I know if I yell at you, you're gonna ignore me. Yeah. You're gonna, you gonna turn me off or ignore me. Yep. So for me and you and Steven and Mike Wilburn, man, I need y'all to trust me because sometimes people play the race card when it's not playable because then you become the guy who's going to cry wolf all the time. Right. The one thing I promised TNT when I took this job, because I told them the social stuff is really important to me. Mm -hmm. It's really important to me. Right. I said, I won't beat you over the head with it all the time mm -hmm. because if I beat you over the head with it all the time, and you're like, well, I'm not going to watch. Pretty soon you'll become desensitized. Yes. It's not going to have the same impact. Yeah. I said, so he, if every time something happens, he's going to talk about race or something like that. And I think I've done a good job. I says, I want to talk about this. 
I want to talk about this. And, but I think we have to be very selective. I do. I think we have to be very selective because, man, racial should have them all the time. For sure. All the time. Mm -hmm. And I want people to see, like, Shannon, Charles, Stephen A., they're going to be fair and balanced. That's it. That's all. So that's the only thing I try to do in this situation. I'm like, yo, man, Chuck ain't just trying to play race or trying to uh, stir it up or stir it up or be a victim. Mm -hmm. I says, because cause the one thing you have to always say, like sometimes black people are wrong. And then I know I'm going to be an Uncle Tom. I'm going to be a sellout. Yeah. I said, listen, man, those words don't bother me. We don't have to agree with all black people. We don't. But they think we do. Yes. They think we do. I said, yo, man, sometimes black people are wrong. Yeah, and it's okay. It's okay. And it's okay to say they're wrong. But, they, but, but no, but if you're a black person yeah. in our position, look at that Uncle Tom. Yeah. Look at that sellout. I'm yeah. like, yo, man, we can be wrong. And that goes back to what we talked about earlier. I always want to uplift black people. Correct. Always. Mm -hmm. I want, like, I'm proud of your success. And I know people gonna hate on you. I know people gonna hate on me. And they gonna be black. I said, but, man, I love to see black people doing good. I love to see us win. I love it. But I was like, I'm, 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 I'm old enough and I'm around enough to know there's gonna be some hate coming toward yeah. me. Especially if they disagree with some I say. Right. But I want you to win. But I'm hey, y'all, check this out. This good, y'all. It's yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh yummy, yummy, yummy. Y'all, my T cell count is 1190 and my viral load is undetectable. Yeah! I'm on the battlefield fighting for the Lord. Y'all know it's time. What time is it? It's Mad's time. This is just one pill. I took my other one. But this right here, most important. Jim Boyer, because it keeps me undetectable, I cannot spread this virus to no one. What virus? What virus you talking about? The HIV virus. I can't pass this around to nobody. Child, I'm undetectable. You equals you. You ain't know. <laughs> you better ask somebody. Let me take my mag. Girl, you equals you. You better ask somebody. What's you equals you? You equals you. Undetectable equals untransmittable. I can't give it to nobody. Nobody. <laughs> you better ask somebody. And remember, we are responsible for our own actions. Okay? For our own actions. Remember that. Go get tested. Know your status. See ya. <laughs> what you do? <laughs> you can't get all the way up here. <laughs> oh my God. You got to be good. This is gorgeous. This bed and built-in TV area. Isn't that neat? And this right here. Check this out. Oh, storage. That's cute. That's gorgeous. Look at this stuff in here. Look at that, like a car seat. Car seat cup holder. Y'all check this out. Look y'all. Came across this headboard. Isn't that nice? Look at that headboard. That is gorgeous. And so I'm in my room. 
And I was looking for my stand for my phone. And I found it. And look. They're on my bed. The Lord is my Savior. He is the light of my life. He is my doctor. He is my lawyer. He is my confidant. He is inside of me. The Lord is my Savior. And He is God's Son. <laughs> 